Hello everyone, uh, this is my review of the Little Yellow Book, I Am Dare Walk, and my opinion of this episode is very clear, clear, uh, I hate SpongeBob in this episode, but I enjoy the performance of Squidward. So yeah, um, let's get this episode started, I will see, I will tell you why my point of the episode, and yeah, let's get it started, right now. Our episode begins with Squidward relaxing in the crusty crabs. We try to take a nap, he is suddenly woken by a bunch of people. Yeah, do not, I do not, yeah, do not tell me, I will not explain to you why, how, how, or how this happened. So Squidward trying to ask Squidward to wake up, but then, and Spongebob is written in his writing his diary, which we come to the first problem of this episode, which is very fucking clear. First off, why is Spongebob writing a diary? This is something you will probably see in the Disney Channel, Nickelodeon. Second of all, he should, he should be working right now. I mean, come on, you have to listen to Krabby Patties. I mean, what the heck is this? And third of all, this is what happens when somebody reads... This is how Spongebob Squidward finds out that Spongebob has a diary. Why after Squidward yells to a bucket, Spongebob suddenly decides to jump up and make the Krabby Patty. Without knowing see that he left it. I don't know why he notices, and this is the only small part of the episode that's about actually small. So they decided to crawl on and then soup the patties out of his back in the blanket. Okay, I know Spy is an excellent fight cook and all, but this that was uh extremely disgusting. So then so I forgot to mention that Spongebob put the um uh, diary on um, the um, fire and uh, Squidward picks it up and then Spongebob retakes it. The second good part of the episode when Spongebob has to realize that Squidward is going to read his diary. He doesn't want to read his diary, but then the problem comes to an end. So, Squidward pranks. Um, so let me tell you something here. Um, Squidward has to admit that his curiosity is peak, which I can actually relate to. When, when someone tells you not to do it, what what do the kid usually do? He fucking reads and grabs a book. But I do not hate Squidward for. So uh he pranks SpongeBob by, you know, um getting a prank. And then by and then they realize it was unlocked, so we unlock, we will pick the hair and uh, Mr. Krabs has hair, okay? Apparently he did not have Simon's. Uh who knew? So, Squirrel reads SpongeBob Diary, but the, the jokes are really fair. It's basically Squirrel saw him, Gary bit him, and he clean here. But I do give this so credit. This is actually a, some pretty good wine, even even for modern animation style. Seriously, I didn't see the Simpsons do this. So, I give this, this episode's props for that. The only props I'm ever going to give, give this episode. So we mean this guy who looks like a penis upside down, telling him that Squidward reading SpongeBob's diary says that's horrible. Read more, making him a fucking hypocrite. Yeah, the no reason why I hated it was all because I compare it to boys a bummer. But people are hypocrite. We only acted to one little fucking thing, which I will give to later. So apparently, after an embolsing joke, yes, there is an embolsing joke. Squidward plays a pan pie. Apparently, one. Apparently, kelp, well, the uh, color of a kelp makes one look like a chicken. Okay, never seen it from you, isn't it? all so, never more. So, well, SpongeBob is reading, and, uh, I, so everybody's laughing, and we like that SpongeBob's fast is 50 feet. I will not go into complaining about that, because this episode doesn't seem to give a fuck anymore about what the hell is why. And then Patrick says, well, I don't know why you're Fiffy. And then Spongebob goes like, Fiffy. And why does then go like, Fiffy, how do you not drink tears? Uh, I don't know, dingus. Maybe because swear it is fucking in your diary, you idiot. Apparently Spongebob, later, listens to the comedian go on after him and apparently takes off his underwear and then starts dancing. Which, this is a problem. One, the wire saw us, there was a possibility for Spongebob hearing Squidward reading his diary. This particular... The little window, he was right there. And after the music stopped playing, everybody started laughing. Squidward, Spongebob, I mean, we sees Squidward's diary and goes, Squidward, how can you? And then goes one on laughing. Well, everybody's laughing. Except for Mr. Krabs. It's like, oh, man, he, he was the only likable character in, it, in this whole time episode. With, beside, with Gary. And then, 
fucking clucks like a chicken again, and then apparently people say, wait, that was supposed to be a story? Oh no, you fucking dingus. What the hell did you think it, what the hell are you thinking it was reading about, huh? We think it was, you were reading, um, uh, Mein Kampf? Something, something I've been running away. That's where Spence Crab says, that's a new law even for you. Uh, you drove Plankton to fucking suicide. I will not say what's a new law. But however, I do give you credit because you'd still say just apologize and then you say, oh, you're all going to forget. And he was walking, laughing, as well as a coin do, so he was reading your diary, get over it. We see that newspaper kid from the time when Spongebob was a hall and he saw the newspaper. And we then say, look at Fico devastated. And then Squirrel is laughing and he the newspaper on the ground. Now, the guy could be, you know, be pissed off that he, Spongebob, that he didn't say sorry to Spongebob or that he just threw a perfectly good paper on the ground. Now, here's a problem I have with this particular scene. The guy, guy, why next to Squidward? Looks like he doesn't give a fuck. I'm sorry, but he seriously does not look like he gives a fuck. Like, dude, who the fuck cares? So then, Squirrel try to ask for a cam, but then the cam, he can So then the cam just like, just goes, Hey, you're a guy with a diary, so fuck you! I'm gonna not do my job! And then winds off. Spectacular display of human society, and then we get everybody hates Squidward. And then when he comes home, his house gets fucking repossessed, so he be on living home. Homeless, yeah. He kind of does something. What am I supposed to be feeling? I'm supposed to be feeling a ha ha Squidward moment. Ha ha Squidward, do what SpongeBob's been doing. <laughs> Uh, the police officer finds him, and then the we the cop says, Hey, you have a guy who reads a diary. Wait, I had a boy who read a diary. And so, I, I hate my boy. So, um, so this I to pull in the camera when he gets to mailed. Right after Square word and to mailed, we see Spongebob and he actually picks Spongebob for figures. And this week you want to find doing why else you try to act for Square again. Oh no, wait, that's why. That's why you want. That's why you forced this plot on to us, because apparently you think we're so stupid, huh? <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, so then Spongebob said, said that he would get a point that he made his diary to a bestseller? Okay, I just don't know a single black of sympathy for Spongebob, okay? Problem one with this. We all be this elephant in the room. Spongebob sold his diary. If he doesn't want his diary to be read, then, uh, don't let your fucking diary be read, okay? Uh, and don't you dare even publish it after, you know, the problems you had, um, after all this. Two, two, we feel bad because we hate your screen or because he did all this horrible stuff to you. You monster. And finally, sweet. That would kind of insult it, but don't worry, that apparently was his work diary, and his personal diary is right there. Um, I'm sorry, I'll show you something here. Um, what is that? Yeah, my diary. You cannot have two diaries. Suppose all. I don't know why I want you to write that, but don't, don't give me fucking dare, okay? Don't you give me fucking dare. Okay, let's wrap this one up. Uh, apparently, everyone came back to town, and the people don't give a fuck, so then apparently, um, uh, said, I don't believe he's okay, so apparently, he said, well, why am I here with your diary? Name that diary, so my hands on this for a coin and we're gonna stand to laughing like oh this is too good to be true. Well at least somebody was fucking happy in this fucking are crap because I wasn't. Listen, I both about maybe pissed me off, but this pissed me off more. Because why I was trying to do something that was horrendous. So there's been there walkman, sign off. Goodbye.